Hi everyone, so I found some footage of an oil painting I did recently. It is based on this beautiful little place in Queensland called Secrets on the Lake. I painted this in oils and all up it probably took about 4 hours, but I've cut the footage down to about 7 minutes. I started this painting by staining the canvas and this just gets rid of any white on the canvas. White can be very difficult to paint on. Once I've stained the canvas with a burnt umber, I then go through and just do a brief sketch of the composition. All I'm trying to capture here is the general shapes and any really dark values. I then start by laying in the sky. And this is just a mix of ultramarine blue and titanium white and possibly some cadmium orange just to tone it down a little bit. As you can see, I'm using very general brushwork here. I then go through and paint the clouds in. And this is just a bit of titanium white and grey. I'm painting using a wet on wet approach here, so I'm not letting it dry in between layers. I then work my way down the painting and start painting in this area of mountain range here. It's quite a high key value and it doesn't stick out that much from the sky. For the water, it's a similar colour to the sky but probably one or two values darker. For this bright green here, I use a mix of cadmium yellow, viridian green and titanium white. I paint the roof of this shed with a very large brush and a very broad stroke. And the colour I'm using it is sort of like a purpley grey colour. It's one of the higher values in the painting, so it's about the same value as, as those clouds there, or some of the darker clouds. I then go through with a smaller brush and just add a little bit more texture to that roof there to indicate the tiling. For these really dark areas in the painting, I use a mix of ultramarine blue, raw umber and some viridian green. And all I'm doing here is really just blocking in the general shapes that I see in the scene. Later on, once the highlights come in, it'll start to take on a bit more form. So where the light is hitting that boardwalk in the distance there, that is the lightest part of the painting. So it's not completely white, it's got a bit of a tint of a warmer colour, a bit of orange in there. But it's certainly the lightest in the painting. It can be difficult when painting these areas where there's a lot of stuff going on. So I really just sort of break it down to small shapes and that's all I'm painting. I'm just painting little short, small shapes of colour rather than trying to paint 
the objects as what they actually are. So this really simplifies it for me and makes it a lot easier to paint. So here I'm just going to start going through and adding some highlights in and this will start really emphasizing the form and the structure in the painting. The highlights I'm using here is just basically the green I was using before plus a bit more yellow and white. So by this stage I've coloured the whole canvas and I've got all the structure in place. So now all that's really left to do is consolidate everything and start adding some of these finer details to really bring it all together. For the final part of the painting I actually pull out the palette knife and start adding some bold highlights and a little bit of texture. Well that's pretty much it for this painting, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this time lapse tutorial please subscribe or add a comment. I also did a written tutorial for this with some progress photos which you can find on my website. I will leave a link in the description below. Thanks and happy painting!